Okay, on the bench today here, the DS Radio Shop, upstate New York, is the Yezu FTE40. Okay, the problem with this radio, and, and many of these, is because of the um, display. So, when the display starts flashing, it doesn't know where to go with the VFO for transmit receive. Okay, so when that happens, you, you're going to lose both transmit and receive, okay? Uh, we've had a couple of guys call and say that it's not putting out and the screen will flash. It's okay. And they said they've called other shops and they told them, well, it's probably going to be your PA. The the power amplifier is going to be probably shot. You're going to need new, new uh, finals. That is not the case, no. So um, the one guy who had called me uh, said that he wasn't sure about it. He didn't feel comfortable. And then he found me online through one of my YouTube videos. So he called me up and described the same thing to me. And I told him, I said, well, it's going to be where your regulators are in your audio section. It's not going to be anything different because I know what the, what the problem, I've done hundreds of these radios and uh, they're great radios. And as soon as you do this correction to it, you'll never have that problem again. Uh, so he felt very comfortable. Like, okay, sure, I'll send it up because I thought you were going to tell me the PA. He says, no, it's got nothing to do with your PA. No. And uh, I know exactly what's wrong with it because it was an engineering defect. And um, there's not many people who understand how these things, you know, how to fix these things. So what you're looking to do is this guy right here. Okay. It's a 30-watt power resistor. Very important piece to fix this problem. You'll never have this problem again when you do this, okay? So, I will show you. I've done many videos of this, but I'm going to show you exactly what's going on here. So, with a flashing display, why does that happen? Well, feast your eyes on this, ladies and gentlemen. So, right here is the problem. Okay, that is discolored. This is your power resistor. This component overheats so much, it discolors the board, as you can clearly see. Look at that, it's all burnt. These caps, you can see are discolored. Probably no good anyways now. So um, what happens is this overheats it ruins the soldering on the pads to the point where it'll actually burn the trace right out and uh, take out these caps and these regulators will fail. Okay, this is your audio chip. This radio does transmit, it does receive, and it has strong modulation. Um, however, it will need an alignment, but um, it needs this fixed first because what happened was the radio was working great until the screen started flashing. And uh, when you adjust, this one here was actually a little strange. Um, typically your screen is just gonna flash, it's gonna blink, whatever. Uh, this one, when you adjusted your RF power um, from like low point, maybe, I don't know, maybe you wanna put like 50 watts out or you're gonna run QRP 10 watt, but then you wanna bump it back up to like 100 watts. When you put it full power, the screen would flash and it would shut the transmit rate down until you unkey the microphone and then you'd key it up again and try it again and it would repeat the same process, okay? And that's because the stress of the, what this has caused, you're not gonna get your audio up, but you're not gonna get what you want. And the regular, the, your, these are all your transmit receive voltages here, okay? And without this thing functioning correctly, due to this guy, you're not gonna have your performance and that's what's stopping the radio from working right now. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take that power resistor and you're going to mount it back here on the plate. Okay, so right down inside you got all this room right here and that's where I mount it. Okay, so now this becomes the heat sink. You've got nothing here to dissipate this heat other than it gets so damn hot, the board takes the abuse and the components nearby. So we have to take this out, get rid of it. You're gonna run two wires with heat shrink from this, okay? And then you're going to fasten that 30 watt power resistor to the side 
and we're going to feed the wires. We're going to dress them down here back to the board and zip tie those nice and neat and pretty because everything's got to be professional. I'm very meticulous about my work. I've seen guys just put things in here and just, okay, looks good, and that's not the way to do things. Uh, in fact, this right here is not dressed correctly. This should have been zip tied at least once more here, if not, you know, maybe one here and one here. Um, the same thing at the front. Should have been another one down here. This is too sloppy. I like to see things like this. Nice and neat, you know, okay? That's just me. We don't live in a perfect world, but if I can get it damn near close, I'm going to try. So anyways, um, so this is the problem we're going to fix, okay? Uh, I will take care of this right now, and then I will take and um, do an updated video when we're all done uh, with that. However, what I want to do first, though, is I want to show you, I'm going to do this right now, um, taking this apart with the board out, so you can actually see the damage it will do on the inside. So let me do that. And then I'll go ahead and stop the video, fix it all up, and then I'll uh, do an updated uh, video on this. Simple back plate, okay? I like to run things parallel. You don't want to holes everywhere so run it parallel right here to make it look nice and uniform as if it's factory is where you would drill the hole and then you would mount that power resistor on the inside okay so then it looks nice and professional now some cob job corner thing over here over here you know make it look nice and pretty guys make it look nice and professional because by the end of the day you know your name's going to be on that see so very important i like to do things you know as perfected as I can get it, and like I said, I'm very meticulous about my work. It's, it's got to be, it's got to be right, because uh, I look at radios. Every radio that hits my bench is if it's mine, and I would not want to be a customer and walk inside your shop, and uh, you know have you trash it all up the house. So I, I treat everybody's radio with a lot of respect because I treat it as if it's mine, and all of my radios are mint condition i take excellent care of my radio so i will do the same for all of my customers that's just the way you should have good practice with your uh, your customers good relationship and good good business uh, attitude so okay that pretty much takes care of those now what we're going to do is down inside here let's see if i can get this to stay So you got a couple of screws that hold the regulators. Do not unscrew the audio chip, just the regulators. This is a pin connector, okay, push pin connector. But I, I like to do it this way, so when I go to replace them and line them back up, they drop right in the place where they should go to, right where they belong, okay? So let's take this out. Okay. Now... You got a couple of RF cables. You want to take your cables here. I can get it by the connector. There we go. Pull him out. Pull that one out. And also make sure you check the battery too, because if that battery is bad, your memory will go. And if it goes, that will also cause an interruption to the display. But 99% of the time, you can clearly see that wasn't the case. It's down here. Okay, so what we're going to do now, pry this thing up just like that. And we're going to see what kind of damage is done. And you can see that thing's cooked. Wow. Burnt mark going right across the back end of it so what happens here is oh let's see yep so okay right there it did not we can actually take this out i'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this out it's just a push, a push pin okay into that socket but yeah you can see the damage that thing got really hot so now what we're going to look for here 
is let me uh, take this off the stand for a moment. I want to show you see that center joint? So we need to focus here. There you go. See the solder joint? See that ring around it? Not even a good solder. Okay. See the discoloration right here? This is your power resistor. These two points. Okay. So we're going to take and flip this thing around. In fact, let me put my finger right there so you know right where we're going to be. Okay. So right here. Right there's your power resistor. Okay, so right down here off that corner, this is what's causing all the problems. Right here off that corner, see it? Okay, so that's the whole problem with these radios. And while we're at it, we're going to reflow all the soldering because I know they got a lot of bad solder joints as well. It's just notorious. The other biggest issue is let me see if this one's got a problem because i know they usually all do but i'm going to double check anyway yeah so right here is your external speaker jack i see a fresher solder joint on the side these are not good soldering so we're going to touch that up as well and uh go from there so that's what we got to do i will take and do an updated video when i'm all said and done and i'll show you where i mounted that power resistor up to here and how it's going to be dressed nice and neat along and through here and uh we'll get her all up and going be back in a bit guys ds radio shop